For the past two weeks, Little Bemidjians have been practicing for this very big day, the wrap-up of the fourth annual Bemidji Junior Theater Camp. Our Brenda Mack tells us more for this week's In Focus. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Lights, camera, action. <laughs> Bemidji Junior stride on stage with confidence, ready to show off a remarkable production. It was fantastic. I love seeing my daughter on stage. Oh, we're just excited for the parents to finally get to see what we've been working on for the past two weeks. In just eight days, more than 50 kids are given a chance to explore a newly found creative outlet. From scenic design to acting to stage combat, many bringing home a new skill set and an invaluable experience that keeps students coming back for more. It's always really fun and you get to meet new friends and you get to move up in different levels so you get a different experience every year. You notice the difference in these kids. They have more discipline, they have more self-confidence, they know what they uh, are interested in, they know what they want to do. So that kind of experience is invaluable no matter if you ever do theater again, you bring those skills with you to something else. And the same joy was shared with parents. It was, it was, it's a joy to see your, your children involved with uh, real positive things here in the community. And I love that she loves it so much. It's something she's doing on her own and um, it's just really fun to watch her blossom and grow in that way. And the production is committed to giving back. Here you can see each bear is personally designed by each student. It will be given to the fire department to distribute to those in need. This little teddy and its friends will go to some child who has experienced a loss through a fire. Organizers say this is all made possible through teamwork within the Bemidji community. Bemidji has a, a number of things to be very proud of and this is certainly one of them. Are you going to be in it too when you get old enough? <laughs> For this week's In Focus, Brenna Mack, Lincoln News. More theater plays will be back. In the next few months, you can catch shows like Mary Poppins and the Elephant Man here in Bemidji. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.